All right, welcome back again. We are now masters of inputs from yesterday's push buttons um, and now markers. We know all about them. Uh, we've only got two types left. Uh, the one we're going to tackle in this one, kind of out of order, is timers. So timers, uh, how they can be used in PicoSoft. Obviously, timing is important for a lot of different applications. Uh, we're going to learn about timing relays. So there are two different uh, types of timer relays as far as we're concerned. Uh, there is an on-delay and an off-delay timer. There are a couple other details with timers, but these are the two uh, that we find kind of the most useful. Uh, let's go ahead and let's just learn by doing. So let's fire up Ecosoft. Uh, if you've got something open from before, that's great. You know, you can file, you can save it somewhere. Uh, but just go ahead and start up a new one. Same as always, drag over the microcontroller, or sorry, the PLC that we're using. Uh, and let's go into the circuit diagram area. So what we want to do this time is we want to have an input, and we want it to control a timer relay. Uh, let's go look at the timer relays options. Uh, first off, you can see that there is a thing called a trigger and a thing called a reset. To be honest, we're just going to always use the thing called trigger. Uh, reset lets you reset the timer. We typically don't need to. Typically, we just stop triggering it. Um, so to be honest, for timers, this area is not the one you care about. The area you care about is the parameters tab. So let's go into the parameters tab and see what's there. So what we've got is we've got a couple different types of timers. We've got on delays, off delays, and a few others. We only actually care about on delay and off delay. The others we won't care about at all. Let's start by making an on delay. Um, and let's set the, the, the set point uh, to, I don't know, let's say uh, five seconds. So you can see that I set the set point to five seconds. You could, if you wanted, like make that be minutes or hours or other things. Seconds is, is going to work pretty well for what we're doing. So you don't know what this thing is yet, uh, but you've gone into PicoSoft, you said on delay, five seconds. Uh, and then we're going to have it control a marker. So we're going to have it control, we'll just make it control marker one. That looks like a good marker. Let's go into the simulation. Uh, let's make sure our push buttons are all the simplest type, uh, which is, you know, normally open momentaries. And let's go ahead and see this guy run. So the way this works is I hit play. Uh, I hit I1. Um, and that run goes high. But you can see the second rung is not going high yet. So I'm holding it down, and boom, there it went on. Um, I'm sure you can guess it took five seconds. Let's go ahead and watch some displays. So let's start off by switching to show the timing displays. Uh, and let's go ahead and hold this thing down again. Um, you can see it's actually counting. Uh, that value is changing. And as soon as it gets to five, then boom, the next line comes on. Um, and so the idea of this is that you're trying to turn it on, trying to turn it on, uh, but it's got a delay before it comes on. So it's an on delay of five seconds. You can see as soon as I let go of it, um, it goes off just instantly, right? So there is no delay in turning off. There's just a delay of five seconds uh, before it turns on. So you can see it's got like a control rung, but then anywhere it's used as like an input to somebody else, there's a five second differential between those two things. Um, so on delays can be really handy. They can be used in a lot of different ways. They're mainly used if like you're like in some state um, and then you want to take some action after a period of time. Typically, if you want to take some action after a period of time, they're a great option. The other type of timer, so let's go back to our circuit diagram. Let's just go ahead and make I2. I'll leave a gap there just to kind of see the difference. Control timer two. I'm going to switch that over to timer two. And let's uh, have timer two. Control marker two. Very similar circuit. The only thing that's going to be different this time are the parameters uh, on this timer. So again, I'm going to go into the parameters tab because I don't really care about this first tab. I'm going to make this one be an off delay. Uh, and I'm going to set it for, what the heck, five seconds again. And then I'm going to go into the simulation. And I'm just going to hit play. So just because I don't have quite enough room in my screen, I'm just going to focus on just this guy. Um, and what happens is if I just tap I2 just for a moment, 
Um, so I just tapped it just for like a moment. It comes on right away, um, but then it stays on for another five seconds. So you can see it's the exact opposite of what we just did. So just even the quickest little tap, um, all right, as long as it registers it, even the quickest little tap will we'll turn this thing on. Um, and then once it's been on for five seconds, it turns off. Um, so get it on. And then as soon as I let off, it goes. Another interesting thing to note about these is if you like, if you press it uh, and you hold it down, it doesn't actually start that timer until I let off. So as soon as I let off, I get a bonus extension five seconds. So these are also very handy. So you can see there's two different types of timers, um, on delay and off delay, both very useful. In general, I'd use on delays when I want to do something at the end of that time interval. Um, whereas the, the second one, the off delay, is just when you just want it on for a little extra bonus time. And then you don't really want to do anything at the end. You just want it to turn off when it's done. So those are kind of the concepts on those. So go ahead and save this guy off. Uh, you can save him as, you know, basic timers, perhaps. Those are the concepts. Let's do some example problems. So let's open up a new um, a new project. I drag the uh, the device over. This one is going to be a uh, little example uh, for a drag racing Christmas tree. So a drag racing Christmas tree. Uh, it kind of looks like this. Uh, this video would play if you, if you wanted it to play. But essentially, it um, it does the top of the yellow lights and then the middle one uh, and then the bottom yellow light uh, and then it turns to green. So we're not gonna worry about this stage and pre-stage stuff up here. Uh, we're also not gonna worry about, in a real one, they kind of turn on and then they turn off. We're just gonna like turn the top ones on, leave it on, turn the second one on, leave both of those on, turn the third um, and then the fourth. So that's gonna be our little fake problem. Uh, for the specifics on this, uh, I1 is going to turn this like Christmas tree, they're called Christmas trees, turn this Christmas tree on, um, the top yellow is going to come on right away, just boom, instantly, and then there's going to be a half second delay until you have two on, another half second until you have three on, and then another half second until all four are on, and those are just going to be Q1, Q2, and Q3. Uh, before you go uh, play with it, let's see if you understand what's happening here with this timing chart. Uh, so see if you can complete this timing chart in your notes on your own. All right, I'm going to do it as well. So not uh, not rocket science, right? Uh, so as soon as this guy comes on, uh, right away, Q1 comes on. The others do not come on right away, so they stay off for some period of time. And Q1 is going to come on, and he's just going to be on. After half a second, uh, Q2 is going to join him, and these guys are still off. And then after another half second, Q3 is going to join in the fun. And then I think you've seen the pattern. Uh, after that, Q4 comes on, um, and then they all stay on until the system turns off, um, in which time they all shut off together, right? And then just to kind of test to make sure you understood this, um, if we had a little blip, you know, this guy would come on for that little blip. That little blip was not enough for any of these guys, right? So they don't even like register at all. Uh, so this is the thing that you want to build. Um, if you were trying to look at this, I mean, you can see that they all kind of go off together, um, whereas they have a stagger for when they come on. So see if you can think this out. There's going to need to be three timers, uh, four cues, one input, um, kind of an interesting little problem. See if you can build it yourself in PicoSoft. We'll build it together if you have trouble, but see what you can do on your own. All right, so I'm going to build it as well. So coming into PicoSoft here, uh, I know that I've got an input. Uh, what I want that input to do is I want it to instantly um, turn on Q1 because it just comes on right away. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to use a contactor because it's just going to follow I1 exactly. If you looked at the timing chart, that's how it worked. And then it's going to control three timers. So these timers, I'm just going to call them timer one, timer two, and timer three. So these timers, they have a delay before they come on. 
So they're going to all be on delays. Uh, this first one, we wanted half a second. We have to find 0 0.5. The second one, we wanted to come on after one second. So just be 1.0. And then this bottom one uh, is going to be come on after one and a half seconds. And we want all of these guys to just follow the state, right? So whenever the system's on, uh, the timer, uh, the timer is potentially going to get turned on. And then what these timers are going to do is we're going to have timer one, two, and three. They're going to be controlling their outputs. Uh, oops, missed it. So they're going to control their cues. Um, their cues, unfortunately, the numbering system didn't quite work out here because their cues are actually two, three, and four. Two, three, and four. All right, so now I've got I1. It's going to turn the system on. It's also going to try to turn on these, these timers. These timers are going to have a delay before they come on, but eventually they're going to turn on the other lights. So let's go try this guy. To be honest, you could set this up as a position switch or a momentary. Um, if you use momentary, you just have to hold your button, hold your finger down uh, to keep the system on. I'm going to do that because it's easy. Uh, and I'm going to watch, um, I don't know, you could watch a lot of things. Let's watch the, uh, we'll watch the cues first. That'll be, just kind of see if the whole thing works. So if I hit uh, play on this guy, uh, so if I hold down, because I'm using a momentary, if I hold down I1, you can see Q1, Q2, Q3, and then Q4. It stays on until I let off. If you wanted, you could set this up as a position, right? The only advantage of a position is then you can click it, and you know you can take your hands off, and it does one, two, three, four, and then if you click it again, that turns it off. Doesn't really matter. Other things you could watch, you could also watch the uh, the timer relays themselves. Uh, the thing about the timers is you can only watch so many at a time. So if I hit I1, you can see that it counts up to a half, it counts up to one. Um, and then if I was watching timer three, you know, I would watch it count up to 1.5 uh, before it came on. So it's kind of hard to get everything on my screen. Um, the purpose of this problem uh, was to make you think of some real system uh, that would use on delay timers. I'm good. Let's do another example. I like examples. So the next example we're going to do, so there's my Christmas tree solution, is motion detection in a room. Uh, so motion detectors, um, like if you're in a room and you move and the lights turn on, after a while they turn off. Um, we're going to implement something like that. I1 is going to be our motion detection sensor. Um, our lights, we're going to add a feature, right? I've always wanted this feature. Um, our feature is going to be that before all the lights in the room go into complete darkness, just one little like warning light is going to go out first. Um, and that's your warning that, hey, you should move um, or else all the lights are going to go out. So Q1 is going to be our warning light. Um, instead of using like 20 minutes, which would take for freaking ever, um, we're going to use six seconds. Um, and then you've got a two second window to wave your arms. Um, and have the motion sensor go off uh, before this thing turns off on you. Let's go ahead and start with the timing charts, just to kind of make sure you understand this guy. So see if you can complete the timing chart uh, for Q1 and Q2 yourself. Assume that each little tick on here is one second. All right, see if you can do that. All right, so I'm going to work it out with you. Uh, so the way this works is they both start low, and then as soon as there's motion, they kick on. Um, and then as soon as the motion stops, so it stops right there, um, you know, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, too tiny for me. You've got to the count of six until he's off. So this little, this little window down here, oops, this little window down here should have been six seconds, assuming my, my calculations were right, because that's the motion sensor went off you get six more seconds until the warning light goes off. And then you get an additional two beyond that uh, before the main lights go off. Um, and so this little yellow period here, that's kind of the bonus time. So you can tell that this is going to be an off delay time.
timer. Another thing just to mention it is if you manage to move again, so here we've got, you know, the bonus time um, is going right in here, but then before the bonus time even expired, there was motion again, so that resets the clock, right? And then you get, uh, you get your six bonus times. Let's kind of do it like this so I can find my six uh, until that goes off. And then you get your eight bonus times until the whole system goes off. I was completing this guy. Uh, he looked like this. So you can see that that uh, motion sensor uh, is, is a nice warning, and it can let you move your hands again before the thing goes off. See if you can build it. So this is what I want you to make. I want is a momentary. Uh, you've got a Q1 and a Q2. You're going to use off-delay timers. See if you can get this thing to actually build. All right, I'm going to do it as well. So I'm going to come into PicoSoft. I'm, of course, going to save my Christmas tree. Oops, i got to stop it from running. Portal, let me save it. That's kind of weird. Um, hello, computer. All right, there we go. I had to stop it and get out of the simulation. So this is my Christmas tree. And then I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to drag over my basic type. Go to my circuit diagram. Uh, I'm going to have only one input. It's going to be I1. What this I is going to do is it's going to uh, hit two timing relays. And then these timing relays are going to control the cues. I realize that these examples are, are hard for you to do by yourself, but um, I don't know. You have to start somewhere. And they're going to control a Q1 and a Q2. Oh, what I meant to do last time is you can also name these cues. So this one is all lights. Um, and then this top cue is, you know, your warning light. All right, so now what I want to do is I've got this momentary I1. It's going to control a, a T1 and a T2. I've got to set up these T1 and T2s, right? So T1, its parameters, it's going to be an off delay, and it's going to give you a bonus of six seconds. T2, it's also going to be an off delay, and it's going to give you a bonus of eight seconds. And then these timers are what's going to control the cues, right? So let's go into the simulation, and let's make sure that I1 is a momentary. He is. Uh, let's pick something to watch. Uh, what the heck? We'll watch the timers. All right, so I'm ready to run this guy. So what happens is I have motion, so my, my lights are off. Um, as soon as I have motion, that's kind of like an I1. Um, so I, you know, wave my arms or whatever. Um, all the lights kick on. Um, after six seconds, I get a warning that says, hey, your lights are about to go off. Um, and then after eight seconds, they all go off. Um, let's go ahead and run it again. Uh, this time I'm going to try to hit that window, right? So I can see that they're both on. Oops, my warning came on, so I move again. Um, and you can see my, my main lights never went off, right? Um, so life is good. My warning, and then I wave my hands, and it goes back on. So this is an example of an off delay um, where you just want bonus time, right? So you don't want anything to happen at the end. You just want to extend out uh, that, that push button. Because without this timer, it would, of course, only be on while I'm hitting I1, which would be a pretty worthless system. All right, so that's kind of it for uh, our examples. Um, hopefully you got to actually make some uh, timers that made sense. Um, and then what I want you to do is I just want you to check yourself off um, and say, I understand both timer types. Because there's on delay, off delay. You not only know what they are, but you've done an example problem with them. All right, sounds good. Uh, next time we're going to come back and talk about counters. See you then.